Hello and welcome to this Rolly Equator 2 tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look at modulation. Modulation in an MPE synthesizer can seem daunting, but we've worked hard to make it as transparent and simple to use as possible. The main interface is split into two halves. The top half is dedicated to sound generation, routing and effects. The bottom half is for modulation. The sources are made up of the usual envelopes, LFOs, macros, etc. If you're wondering about some of the more esoteric looking sources such as the maths module or the multi-mod envelopes, we'll be looking at those in a future tutorial. Just know that all your possible modulation sources are here. Firstly, make sure that you have the main source type selector switch set to whatever MIDI controller type you're using. Equated 2 is very clever at switching between MPE and standard MIDI controllers. For example, if I was to make a sound in standard mode, which used the modulation wheel to apply vibrato, switching to MPE mode would cause the same mapping to be applied to slide, which is the vertical movement on an MPE controller. In this way, you can easily switch between MPE and standard, and with just a bit of tweaking, tailor any sound to suit your controller. Applying modulation is simple. Select your modulation source from the lower half of the screen, and then hover over the edge of your chosen destination until the mouse pointer changes to this up-down arrow. Click and drag in either direction to apply either positive or negative modulation. Alternatively, you can right-click on the name of any modulation source. This opens up a pop-up window, which will show you all the modulation from that source and allow you to change destinations, amounts, as well as adding and deleting. You can also apply a transfer function. This applies an adjustable curve, allowing you to tailor the response of the source. The exact same system works for destinations. So, if I right-click on any destination parameter, I can see exactly what is modulating it. Again, I can change the source, amount, add, delete, and edit the transfer function. Notice the colour coding too. Each source group is coloured. Envelopes are red, LFOs are orange, macros are yellow, and so on. This makes it a lot easier to see what's going on at a glance. If you absolutely need to see everything that's going on in a patch, then the modulation matrix is the place. Every modulation connection is listed here and can be fully edited. The search function is useful for filtering what you see, and once again, the color coding here is helpful to identify groups of modulation type. That's it for this video. Join me soon for the next one.